Welcome to Excel VBA conditional statements for beginners. If you're just getting started with coding, conditional statements are going to allow you to take your skills to the next level. In this series, we're going to look at three techniques. We're going to look at a simple if statement. We're going to look at an if else statement where we say do this or do that. And then finally, we're going to look at something called case select which allows us to deal with more complicated situations where we'd want Excel to go in one of a number of directions. Now, these three techniques, these are what I use in my work. They're going to allow you to deal with 99% of situations where you would need a conditional statement. So let's get straight into it. And in this first video, we're going to deal with a simple conditional statement. Now, make sure you download the download file. It's available on the website. The link is in the video description. Uh, just below this video, download the file, make sure that you uh, work along with me. So let's just deal quickly with the logic of conditional statements. The conditional statement we're saying to Excel, if something is happening, which could be a value in a cell, could be a value of a variable, anything happening in the spreadsheet. If something is happening, we want you to go to this part of the code. If that thing is not happening, we want you to go to that part of the code. So we are saying something, setting a condition, if the condition is met, we want you to do that. If the condition is not met, we want you to do this. So this is the basic logic of conditional if statements. We're going to start with a simple if statement here. We've got the database in the download file. And let's suppose we just want Excel to tell us if we have an M in the gender column. So if uh, this person um, thinks that they're a man, then we want uh, an M to appear and we want Excel uh, to tell us that. Julia, of course, sounds more like a woman, so I'm going to change that to F. So let's open the VBA developer. I'm just going to click uh, on the developer tab here. You can make the developer tab visible. Uh, if it's not there, just Google that quickly, Excel VBA developer tab to find out how to do that. Then we're going to hit uh, Visual Basic here. here. That gets us into the Visual Basic editor. Keyboard shortcut, you could use Alt F11 on Windows to get the uh, VBA editor open quickly. So this is what we've got. And this is, a, you know, the usual view uh, of the VBA editor. We've got nothing in there yet. So we need to insert a module. A module is a place where the code lives, allows us to organize code, etc., etc. So we've got a module here. And let's just go through what we're trying to do. Well, let's say we want to select a cell and then Let's keep it really simple. We want to select a cell. If the value in that cell is M, then we want Excel to say this person is male. Very simple. So how are we going to do that? Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Alt F11. Let's give it a sub. Let's call it simple if statements. There we go. Simple if statement. So the name of the routine is meaningful. It tells us what the routine does. That's always helpful. And then we're going to say, going to get started straight away. So if, so this is how we're starting a simple conditional statement with if, and then we've got to say to Excel, if the value in the cell is an M always helps to kind of say in English or in whatever language you're using, what you're trying to do, get it clear in your head conceptually, what you're trying to do before translating that into VBA code. So let's say if selection dot value. So this means whatever's in the selection, what, whatever is in the active cell, the selected cell. If selection dot value equals M, then there we go. So this is called a condition. We're dealing with conditional statements. We set a condition. If the condition is happening, Excel is going to do something. If the condition is not happening, Excel is not going to do something. So we've got the condition. Now we've got to tell Excel what to do if the condition is met. If the condition is met, so if there's an M in the cell, we've got to tell Excel what to do. We're using a simple conditional statement so we can put the next command on the same line. This works for simple conditional statements. Later, we're going to have to put the commands uh, below on a different line. For a simple conditional statement, we can put them on the same line. We just want a message box to flag up saying this is a man. There we go. So we've got simple code there for a message box. And yeah, in the uh, speech marks there, the text that we want to flag up. So very simple uh, conditional statements. And let's put a button into the spreadsheet, developer, 
insert button. I hold down the Alt key here, hold down the Alt key in Windows. That's going to allow you to line the button up um, with the rows, make it look neat and tidy. Then we've got the choice of macro. So what macro do you want to run when the user clicks this button? Simple if statement. Here we can see how useful it is to have a meaningful name for the routine. We're referencing the routine here. We can quickly understand what it does. Simple if statement, click OK. So now the button's here. And when I click on the button, it's going to say simple if here. There we go. When I click on the button, it's going to run uh, the routine. So let's select a cell with an M in here. The selection, the selected cell is an N. Hit simple if, and it says this is a man. So what's happening there? So Excel is going to this routine, the simple if statement routine, and then it's saying, okay, is, this, is the value in the selected cell, the selected cell, selection dot value, is the value in the selected so cell an M? We can see it is an M because the selected cell has an M in. So that means that Excel is going to run this code. It's only going to run the remainder of the code if the condition is met. For example, let's go to an F. So you might want to pause the video now. What's going to happen now when I click the button, run the routine that we've just created? You can see that the selection, the selected cell, is an F, not an M. So what's going to happen here? Okay, nothing's happening there. Does that mean Excel's not running the code? No, that's not the case. Excel is running the code. I'm just stepping into the code here. Excel is running the code, but this condition is not met. That means Excel's not going to run the rest of the code on this line. The remainder of the code on, on the line will only be run if the condition is met. So let's go back to uh, an M here, and we can see we're in break mode there. So we just have to hit stop. That resets the VBA editor, gets us out of break mode. And simple if, and let's go to an M. There we go. This is a man. Let's go to an F. What's going to happen? Nothing happens. That's what we expect. And then we go back to M and we can see this is a man. So that's the conditional statement working. There we go. So that's your first conditional statement, just a simple conditional statement, simple line of code, but super powerful. We're saying to Excel, if something is happening, do this. In this case, if a certain value is in a cell, do this. And if not, then we're going to do something else. In the next video, we're going to get onto more complex conditional statements. So we're going to introduce another condition. In the current uh, setup, Excel's not doing anything if the condition is not met. So we want to say to Excel, if the condition is not met, we want you to do something else. So we're going to use something called an if else statement. If else and end if, they're going to allow us uh, to get this done. I'll see you in the next video.